Ah, good evening, folks. First of all, my thanks to Zena World and all of you who are attending, some new, some old, uh, for giving me this opportunity to talk about something that I think is very important. That is good health. I don't know how many of you know a chap called Junjunwala. He was known as the big bull of Bombay stock market, supposedly worth 8,000 crores. He died an early death at the age of 62 or something. <clears throat> and I had a long, long back had told him, that is, you cannot buy health. All your money will not protect you. You have to take care of your health on your own, fundamentally by a practitioner or on your own, but you have to look at health as big a subject as your investment. Anyway, I'm just repeating that uh, thing here. Basically, if you're over 50, you really should be using bark flower remedies to heal yourself holistically. Not symptom by symptom, but completely from top to bottom. So I don't pay a price for it later in life when everything that you have worked for and everything you have earned kind of goes to waste. Okay, today's topic is simple but not simple. And I won't be able to cover all of it. Now, I don't normally recommend to anyone, hey, go buy my book. But in this case, if you very seriously want to medicate yourself in any way, you should go through my book. I've covered most of the stuff there. And I'll explain to you why it's so complicated. Essentially, bath remedies are taken four times a day. Two to four drops if you have the originals, 10 to 15 drops if you're using a local Indian tincture. That's a broad kind of thing. But there are cases where I've given remedies every 10 minutes in an emergency. Whether it's panic or an accident or something, there are times you need to quickly, quickly bring down the level of stress. Okay. <clears throat> so yes, you can give remedies quite frequently, all over four hours. But the good thing to do is give it repeatedly if you need to, then once every two hours, and then get back to once every four hours. This is because bark remedies are energy remedies and they have a waveform. The wave rises and falls over four hours. That is the cycle of the remedy. There's no complexity in that aspect. But as I said, you can give it more frequently. I'm dealing with a child who has extreme anxiety caused by what I don't want to discuss. If she gets an attack of anxiety, she may need the remedy every 10 minutes. So it's a judgment call based on the severity of the situation. I had a friend of mine who actually had a tree fall on him. And he told me afterwards that so, because of you, I keep a bottle of rescue remedy in my pouch. I literally took it every five, 10 minutes. So I didn't black out. And I did this till the doctors came and cut me out of this. I wouldn't have lived otherwise. That was his statement. So, a certain amount of judgment is required when it comes to frequency of taking the remedy. The other thing is, how long do you take a remedy? Now, 
I believe in single one, two, three remedies at a time. The result is I get a very quick targeted effect, which means usually within 24 to 48 hours, the patient is feeling much better. But then I get people coming and saying, hey, I'm feeling good, my pain is gone. Can we move on to my next problem? And here my answer has to be by and large, no. The mind emotions are fluid. They respond very quickly. You cannot say the same for your physical body. And if you've had a, any problem that is chronic for months and years, how can you expect it to go away in 24 hours? Yes, you will get relief, maybe even zero pain. That doesn't mean you have dealt with the root cause of this particular pain. I'm using pain as an example because a lot of people suffer from everything from fibromyalgia to <clears throat> knee pain to injuries to whatever else. And you see the most immediate effect in such cases. Yes, if you have a headache, impact, uh, impatience and sweet chestnut, especially with migraine, will clear it pretty within minutes. But it may not clear the tendency to have migraine. For that, you have to look back and say, when did this start? What are your triggers? Is it the heat? Is it getting angry? Does somebody irritate you? What triggers the migraine? And then you deal with the deeper triggers. And only when those are dealt with can you say, hey, I'm okay. This won't happen any further. So you can't go by the immediate relief. Bark remedies work very quickly. You immediately feel the benefit. That does not mean that your problem has gone away. I cannot overemphasize this. Normal course is two to four days, four times a day, but you may need to take it for a week sometimes. Take anger. Today, a mother has called me up and said, my son is still terribly, terribly angry at everyone, many the family. I said, what do you expect? He's an angry man for the last 70 years. Are you expecting that there's very <coughs> deep rooted anger, suspicion is going to go so quickly? Yes, it can go if he wants. If he himself says, listen, I don't like this anger, I need to fix it. But if, if his attitude is, there's nothing wrong with me. You guys are all crazy. I'm fine. This is the right way to be. You must never trust anyone, family, it doesn't matter who, you know, and I'm right in this. And he doesn't want to take the remedies directly. His mother has to mix it with his office water and his lunch and his dinner. And that's not the same thing, to be honest. Remedies work best when a person acknowledges, hey, I have a problem. Yes, I'm very angry at my mother, my in-laws, my husband, X, Y, Z. I need to curb this anger. I'm not saying there'll be no anger at all. If there is provocation, the anger will come up. The question is, can you handle it properly? And I remember telling one lady who said, every time I go to visit my mother, there are fireworks. I said, do yourself a favor. Remedies are best taken when the need arises. Before you step into your mother's house, five minutes before or in the car, take the following remedy and then go to your mother's house. That evening she called back very excited. Ashok, I was there for three hours, we didn't have a single fight. And I said, yes, because you first calm down your emotions. Otherwise, even before you walked into your mother's house, you were already anticipating a fight. 
you were geared up for a fight. Your vibrations were not the best. And so you provoked the fight. The tone of voice would not have been good. But if you speak in the right tone, if you are calm, then certainly the other person will not respond with anger. He said, yeah, it's amazing. I said, this is important. You must take remedies till you get to the point where you are in control of your emotion. Now, it happened to me some time back last year, a very bad incident with some colleague, a very disturbing incident actually. And when I got down to my car, there was one thought that said, ah, you need to take some rescue and calm down. And another part of my brain said, not really. Not really. You know, you, you know you need to handle this calmly. There's no point getting worked up. You don't need a remedy for that now. You've had your remedies in the past. And I sat through a one and a half hour ride home, perfectly cool. I didn't even think about that interest. In fact, I gave a friend of mine a ride and she took one look at my face and said, you look very hassle to me. I said, yeah, X, Y, Z thing happened. And I'm genuinely hassled. So, but you're very calm. I said, yeah. I've learned how to be calm. Over the years, I've trained my mind to not to react. Like today, my stupid bloody ICI bank blocked my card because they've got some new ver verification check and they kept insisting that I've typed the wrong code. Kept doing it three times and they said, oh, by the way, we're going to block your card. Normally, that would be enough reason to be furious. But I know that being curious will not solve my problem. Where is that awareness now? Much better that I stay calm, go see, have my coffee, relax. 24 hours won't kill me. So, I mean, yes, when I went to the bank to draw cash, I told the lady, I said, don't ask me to talk. Don't ask me why I'm not going to the ATM. Because I'll give you an earful. Your people are irresponsible, your software is bad. But I said, I will not talk about it. Drop the subject, here's my check. I want to draw cash. So that awareness has to come in you that says, I am now in control of this emotion. Fear is another such emotion. Deep-rooted fears will not go in two days. They may take a month. And the most effective way is to take the minimalist remedy at the moment that you're feeling the fear. Not that you feel the fear and struggle through it and in the night you go take the remedy. No, if you know that public speaking causes you anxiety, carry the remedy with you. I've seen a guy who's a brilliant choreographer and he learned to take the remedy before each performance. Otherwise, even though he'd done a damn good job, he'd be sitting on the staircase in the corner, chewing his nails, very anxious. After a short while, I met him. He said, now I just carry the bottle of rescue. But knowing that I have the bottle with me itself is enough to calm me down. I rarely get into that agitated state that you first saw me in. That is the point. The purpose of bark remedies is not like allopathy. To make you calm for six hours and again the anxiety is still there. The purpose of bark remedies is to heal completely. And if you want to heal completely, that's when you have to take a decision. Do I take a remedy for two days? Two days, two days, four days, fine. 
fear, sometimes even a week, is very helpful. Anger may take a year. I mean, he's not joking. If the person wants to give up the anger, it's much faster. A month will do it. But I know people who don't want to give up their anger or give up their jealousy or give up this intolerant attitude that they have towards everyone in the world. They don't see the reason to do it. I've had people tell me my anger is my strength. I've succeeded because of my anger. And I've told them to their face, I said, your anger will kill you. So much anger is not good. One of those people listened, understood, changed a lot of things in her life. And later when I met her, she made it clear, she said, listen, I'm a different person. I don't think like an angry person anymore. I meditate, I practice calm. I'm a peaceful person now. So good. The other person said, no, same thing, my anger is my strength. And I said, it will kill you. And sure enough, three years later, both his kidneys packed up. After dialysis for some months, he was very lucky to get a kidney from his mother. And he still lives on one kidney and immunosuppressants and all those other drugs that you have to take. When I met him eight years ago, if he had listened to me, I said, yeah, Ashok, help me get over my anger. That would have been something worthwhile. Would have protected the whole body because anger impacts the stomach, the liver, the kidneys. It affects every bloody thing. So it is fear to some extent. So the willingness of the person to let go an emotion that is harming them is important. Consciously, knowingly carrying remedies, taking them. At the time you need the remedy. That is important. I tell people, they said, why do you make us buy our own remedies? Can't you courier them? I am stupid. I said, you have a problem at 10 o'clock at night, you give me a call, I tell you what remedy to take, and now you have to wait for two days for a courier to come to you? You need to take the remedy at the time, the moment that you are feeling the emotion, whatever the emotion may be. Could be fear, could be anger, could be anxiety, could be anything else. That's when you get the best result from that remedy. When you take them mindfully, on time, and for sufficient duration, kind of proportionate to how long the problem has existed. Hey, you know, I normally take a seven week consultation course because I don't believe we can do anything faster. Behind every emotion, there are other emotions. And then behind that, there may be other emotions. You need to heal them layer by layer to get a complete effect. So asking me how long should I take the remedies is actually not right. You have to ask yourself, how ready am I to give up these negative emotions? How diligently will I take the remedy? At one kid student begging me, please help me for free. I don't have money. I don't have this. For six years, I'm suffering from this horrible pain across my body, blah, blah. I told him, I said, okay, take these particular remedies for the whole week and call me. End of the week, I called him. I said, what happened? Oh, he said, I took the Monday morning. And I said, then what? He said, nothing great happened. I said, you took only one dose one time for a six year chronic situation and you are expecting it to get fixed? What do you say to such people? These are not miracles we're handing out. 
Yes, they have an almost miraculous effect on healing. I had one lady upset with me. Oh, when Christ healed, he, he healed instantaneously. I said, remember one thing. It's because the people who came to him at that time were ready to accept whatever came. That is where the instant healing came from. It's not that we don't have energy healing. My own teacher has done it to me. My Guruji once looked at me and he said, you're really agitated. I said, yeah. He asked for a glass of water, put a little finger in the water for 30 seconds. He said, I said, drink the glass. As I drank it, I felt absolutely calm. He had energized that water like a bath remedy with his own energy. But that wasn't going to solve my problem for the next week, next month, next year. Every time this anxiety and worry built up, because I had just started business, I would have to learn to deal with it. And it's a fact that as my staff and even my teachers, all my driver all say, I've been 20 years, we have never seen you fall ill. Fever, flu, cold, nothing. I said, have you also heard me shouting at people? They said, no, you don't shout at people. I said, that's your answer. I don't let things trigger me to extreme anger. If I do, I will fall sick like all of you do. I said, I control my anger. I control my emotion. Very often, this fear that if this goofs up, my whole project goofs up. But I have to control it. And through controlling it, I find solutions. So back to this. Remedies are taken ideally four times a day, every four hours. And you will know their effects within two days. Maximum four days. Today I had someone saying, Ashok, I really like this remedy. Can I keep taking it? I said, yes. As long as you keep feeling the positive effect of the remedy, you're welcome to take it. The day you take it and don't feel anything, that means you don't need it anymore. That's a very simple estimation of how long to take a remedy. The other thing is, as I said, how much to take. Now that how much can go from two drops of original UK concentrated stock to 15 drops of a local Indian tincture. Because they're selling a strong dilution in India, they're not selling the concentrate. But I remember my mother, for example, she takes the whole dropper and pour it down her mouth. I said, why? She said, I like it. I like that feeling that the remedy gives me. So what if I take a bit extra? Because you cannot overdose with bark remedy. I should clarify that. I have drunk complete bottles in my early days when I was testing. You cannot overdose with the bark remedy. But you can overdo it. Certain remedies, very powerful emotionally, and you shouldn't take them carelessly. And don't take them for weeks or months you will find it actually can change your temperament. Remedies like Centauri, Wild Rose, on Bean. These are very powerful remedies. And you don't want to take too much. Good practices, take them for a few days, take a break, move on to other remedies, come back to this remedy after a week or two weeks. You can take them for months if you like but you don't need to take them continuously for months. Okay? That's important to remember. And as I said, the last aspect of how to take remedies, my only choice is the word mindfulness. I've had people say, oh, I've been taking remedies for so long. They don't work. I said, how do you take them? 
possible, I mix seven remedies in a bottle of water. And then as I go about my daily work, my baking, my cooking, my whatever else, I just take a sip. I made that person stop, sit down, she lives next door, went to the house. I said, take one remedy at a time. Seal the remedy. Don't go to the next one till you understand the effect of the first. We went through this for two hours. Five days later, she posted in the group. She said, I'm, this is just magic. Results I've not had in five years. I've had in five days. Taking remedies the way Ashok has suggested. One at a time, with mindfulness, feel the positive effect, accept that positive effect. Tell yourself, yeah, this is what I want. I don't want to be angry. I want to be peaceful. I like what this remedy is doing for me. And you will get results much faster. Okay? So, as I said, I don't peddle my book on this group. I've covered this in some depth. Uh, you just have to mail me at AP Wizard, Apple Peter Wizard at USA dot net. I'll repeat that. Apple Peter Wizard, one word, AP Wizard at USA dot net. Give me a drop me a message and I'll send you a link to the book. Because there I can go into much greater details, about 200 pages. And you can read it multiple times and really get a feel of what I'm trying to say. And bark remedies are magical in their effects, but they're not miracles. Emotions that you have been carrying with you for a long time will get settled very quickly, but they won't go away in a few days. Some people, yes. I have seen this with a few people. And they've told me very clearly, Ashok, you've explained, I've understood where this anger is coming from. I'm an educated, intelligent person. I'll deal with it now. At least I know where it's coming from. But before I didn't know why I used to get so angry. So I used to become like a witch. Now that I know, I'll deal with it. Logical. I've even had someone come after one hour and say, I don't need more. Whatever remedy you gave me has released a block in my mind. I can go and forward and solve my problem now. I couldn't do it with this block. That's it. And then there are others who take a good one, two months okay, before they feel the full effect. Because it will not just be anger I have to deal with. Behind that anger will be other emotions. It's not just fear. Fear itself has so many types to it. Fear of the known, fear of the unknown, fear of failure, okay? Fear of losing control. There's lots of types of fear. And you have to identify the specific fear and give just the correct remedy for that. Because giving an inappropriate remedy has no benefit. I see lots of people who call everything trauma. And then they give sour or basically, I mean, so, oh, but it doesn't work. I said, where was the trauma? You can't call a small failure or a setback or something traumatic. It's ridiculous. The kind of trauma that sour or basically deals with is the sudden loss of someone very close to you. It doesn't deal with the fact that you made a bad business decision. In 99, I had about $25 million of mine stolen. And I had friends coming very worried. How will you survive? Are you sure you won't commit suicide? It's what rubbish. I didn't watch my back. Some of my friends stole my software. Somebody stole my land. I have no one to blame for it. I don't even consider this trauma. 
Yes, I should live life seven star. Now I'm living life one star. You see that as trauma. I don't see it as trauma. I see that as life wanting to teach me something. And I will gratefully learn from this experience. I will not be traumatized by it. But yes, I don't need remedies like El, Onbeam, others, Gentian, to get over the failure, to get back on my feet, to kick ass, to rebuild my business. I used to work till four in the morning, get back on top. Someone asked me, can you give me a remedy to make money? I said, no, I can't. I can give you remedies to make you work hard and well. And if you work hard and well, you will make money. But I think it's stupid that there are people out there who say, oh, this is remedy for abundance. Just take it for one month and abundance will flood into your life. Uh but yeah, we have exceeded the time and I have transferred the host feature to you. So okay. fair enough. My no. alarm didn't go off for some reason, but uh, so okay, yeah, no you have to you have to end the meeting. No, why I don't cannot do it? Okay, I'll do no. that. Uh, okay. You are the host. Okay. Thanks, guys. As I said, this is a long subject. Get my book, read it. Okay, bye.